Hi. Did you ever wonder how those people get so lucky that they, when they shoot portraits, they have those birds flying in the background? Well, they just don't get so lucky. They just add them in post-production. And I have prepared for you some of those birds to add to your photos. And this is really easy. You just have to put them on your photo in Photoshop. And that's it, almost, because I have uh, like two, maybe two, three tips for you how to make it look a little better. And let's get into Photoshop. So this is a perfect photo to add some birds in the background. And you will find them on my website. Just go to For Photographers and then go to Editing Resources and you will find birds overlays over there. And once you download them, you should find them on your desk somewhere like, like here. And those are, those are all PNG files. So you just have to just drag and drop any group of birds that you want and it will be okay. But there are a couple of things I wanted to show you. Let, let me choose another bird group for you. For example this one and some of those may have like a little white borders when you place them and just to get rid of those white borders make sure to change your blending mode to multiply uh, that will help you a little with this and the other thing is that those birds should be in the background somewhere far away so they should not be that sharp so my tip is to always make sure that they are blurred enough as they should be in the background. So I would go to blur and I would use Gaussian blur for this and just adjust the, um, the blur to your needs. And the other thing is that sometimes it works for me to change the opacity to a little lower because there is something like atmosphere so that those birds will never be that black and that visible because then we have some kind of air between us and the birds and they should be a little blurred. I've got another one for you, like this one, and the same, the same thing. Just add a group of birds that you like. You can then right click on, the, on that and flip if you need those birds to be flying in a different direction. Make sure to change that blending mode from normal to, to multiply to get rid of any white borders around them and make sure to blur. So go to blur, Gaussian blur. And if you think that there are too many or just you just want like this group, you don't want the others, you can use a layer mask. So to that birds 3 I'm going to add a layer mask by clicking here. This creates a white layer mask, which means that this layer is visible. But once we choose a brush and change the color to black, we may remove some of those just by painting. You may use a little higher flow if you want this to be a little quicker. Yes, and then we have a smaller group of birds now. And I will show you one other tip because I thought that this would also be good for adding some birds. But in this case, we have water, so I will need some water reflection. Let me choose like a smaller group, smaller birds, like a bigger group, but smaller birds somewhere far away. Okay, I think those are too small. Those are also great to use in your photos, but um, you won't be able to see what I'm trying to show you. All right, so maybe this group of birds here. Again, if you see those little borders, make sure to change the blending mode to multiply and make sure that you blur your uh, image I mean, that you blurred the birds. <laughs> and because this is 
water, I need those birds to be reflecting in that water. So we'll just copy that layer by clicking Command and J or Control J on your keyboard. And this group is going to be flipped. So click Command or Control T to transform and flip vertical. Now we've got the same group of words. I'm holding Shift just to make sure that that doesn't move uh, on side to sides. Okay, so that the same Gaussian blur was added, but because this is water and that should look a little different, let me just go back to the first group, the, the actual birds, and I'm going to change the opacity to be a little lower just, to, just for the birds to blend in a little better. The same thing I will do with this group. This was 863, so around 63 or less. And less than that because that should be less visible and we'll add another filter which is going to be motion blur in this case because should so that reflection should be a little different um, so I'm pretty happy with this I've got angle minus two and I also I'm also following the water flow Okay, so that's it. So that's really easy. Just make sure that you blur the, with the group of birds so it fits the image. Make sure that you change the blending mode from normal to multiply just to remove those um, white borders. And make sure to remember about things like um, atmosphere, uh, reflections, um, and that you can always flip those or just remove couple of birds, leave those couple so that they don't look the same on all your photos. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and make sure that to visit my website, you will find there a lot of tutorials, uh, a lot of uh, other products for photographers and um, of course my workshops where you can join me uh, somewhere in Europe or in Poland uh, for a group or one-to-one -one workshop. Uh, contact me if you need to know more about my work or about my workshop. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.